Um, I am going to be demonstrating how to um, do a mirror replacement on Photoshop. Um, it is pretty simple and um, I definitely recommend doing your mirror replacements on your desktop um, because that allows for more proper editing and um, just makes the image look a lot neater rather than using your finger on your um, cell phone app to erase the mirror and then add another image. So um, on Photoshop, you there's the quick selection tool right here. So you click on that and you'll see the size of it with a ring. You can adjust the size right here, make it smaller or larger depending on what you need. Um, just click inside and you'll see it selects the roughly um, that area. So in order to unselect certain areas you need to hold down option button and then click and that will allow you to unselect certain areas. So I'm just, I only want the inside of the mirror. So I'm going to try to get it the frame getting the frame unselected so that only the lines only go inside of the mirror So you want the line relatively straight if your mirror is rectangular. So I'm trying to make the line as straight as possible. I'm going to make it a smaller size than that. So zoom up. Here I want to select that little area and have it go around that petal, trying to get the frame out and make the line as straight as possible. Oops. Okay. So I'm holding down the option button and dragging it to try to get the line as straight as I can. straight. Sometimes there's just that little spot. Let's see. Okay, so that's about as straight as I can get it to be. Um, so now before you do anything, you need to make the background a layer. And then you click the delete button and it gets rid of the image in here. So I want to go back to the select the move tool and then I'm going to go to place embedded and add in my image. I'm going 
to resize it so that it is the size I want. You want to move the bottom layer over the image so that you only see if this is going to be the top layer and this is the photo image is underneath it. So I'm just adjusting this. How I would like it. slightly smaller so you can see it better in the mirror. Okay, so that's how I want it. I'm just going to place, I uh, hit enter. Um, to set it and then that is how you replace a mirror image. Um, pretty simple, so you're just basically layering, making two layers, um, and then having them on top of each other. So that is how you do a mirror replacement on Photoshop.